Hi, I'm Terry, and I'm nuts about stamping. I have another really cute project for you today for our Sundays with Sizzix video tutorial. You're going to make this Thinking of You card using the brand new Thoughts and Prayers stamp set that I received in the mail this week, and I'm so excited that I get to use it uh, on this project today to share with you. We're also going to use the Big Shot to get the background on the Certainly Celery. We're going to use the Textures Plates, the Stampin' Backgrounds number one. And here's what you need to gather together to make this project. You need your Sahara Sand Stampin' Classic Ink pad. You need your So Saffron and Certainly Celery markers. You need some cardstock. You need So Saffron, Certainly Celery, Whisper White, and Sahara Sand. And you need some So Saffron ribbon. This ribbon is featured in our celebration promotion, which actually ends March 31st. For a $50 order, you can get a bolt of So Saffron and Certainly Celery ribbon for free. You're also going to use the Thoughts and Prayers stamp pad. I'm going to be using this image here which is a branch with some leaves and some flowers and I'm going to use the thinking of you um, word image. Then I'm also going to use my big shot and here's the uh, background you're going to use out of the background one. It's called Damask and I think you'll be able to see it here. Along with that you're going to need the silicone rubber pad and the impressions pad. All right, so let's make the background first using the Big Shot. You're going to need your platform and you're going to need tab one. And I'll slide that through first. And then because I like the background impression from my texture pad on the Certainly Celery to be a really deep impression, I've actually cut a scrap piece of heavier cardstock to put underneath. That raises up the texture plate and will make a deeper impression. So you can, you can play with yours when you get it. Then you want the impressions, the damask impressions, and I'm going to lay the Certainly Celery on top of that the silicone pad on top of that, and then the impressions pad on top of that. And then you're going to roll the whole thing through your Big Shot. You need lots of muscle to do that. And as you roll it through, you will see that the silicone pad starts to squeeze out. That's fine. Don't worry about it. It's supposed to do that. Okay. I'll move that out of the way. And then, when your Certainly Celery comes out, the actual top part is an impression in. If you turn it over, then you get the impression out. And that's the side that I want to use for my card. So then basically, we're just going to assemble the card. Take the So Saffron. And then before I adhere the Certainly Celery, what I want to do is put the ribbon around it. So I've pre-cut the So Saffron ribbon so it'll fit all the dimensions and all the ingredients that you're going to need to make this card are going to be on my website today as well as the video tutorial. So please go to www.nutsaboutstamping.com for the measurements and the ingredients. Okay, then I'm going to adhere this on as my card on top of my card base like that and then just to save time for you I went ahead and I inked up the branch image using the So Saffron marker for the flowers and the Certainly Celery for the leaves and I stamped it on a piece of Whisper White cardstock that was just to save time for you and now what I want to do is I want to ink up the Thinking of You and I want to stamp that down on the Whisper White cardstock. Now since I only want the Thinking of You, I'm going to use my Stampamajig for placement. Before the video began, I went ahead and inked up the Thinking for You in a dark color. I believe I used Night of Navy and I got that situated on my image sheet. Now what I want to do is I want to use Sahara Sand and I want to ink that up and I just want to stamp the Thinking of You. 
So let me bring in just a piece of scrap paper because I don't want to ink up and stamp on my background piece here. All right, I'm going to get that situated. Then I'm going to ink up the whole image using my Sahara sand. Make sure that looks good. It's not crooked. Then you move the image sheet away. I huffed on it a little bit and stamp it straight down like that. All right, then to complete this project, I'm going to adhere the Whisper White onto the Sahara Sand. And then I'm going to adhere the Sahara Sand onto my card base. And there you go. You've got a really pretty card for somebody special. This is actually going to be going to um, my son's grandma because she's not feeling well. She fell and broke her hip. So we are making her today a Thinking of You card to send to her. And that's today's Sunday with Sizzix project. If you'd like more information or you want the measurements, again, please go to my blog www.nutsaboutstamping.com That's spelled N-U-T-Z about stamping.com